This is my visit to Le Jardin de Luxembourg, the Luxembourg Garden in Paris. The palace was built by Queen Marie de Medici, the widow of King Henry IV in 1612. The gardens are both in the French formal style and in an English informal style. There are many amenities in the park. There's an art museum, restaurants and refreshment stands, greenhouses and orangery, a playground, a daycare center, carousel, pony and donkey rides, a dog area. You can play tennis, petanque, chess or bridge. There's miniature sailboat rental. There's a puppet theater that seats up to 275 people an orchard, beehives, and the garden has 106 statues, including 20 sculptures of queens and famous women in France, and the Statue of Liberty. The palace had repairs underway when I was there, but it's also home to the French Senate. Marie de Medici also had this fountain constructed, although the sculptures in the center were not added until the 1800s, the sculptures are of the Cyclops Polyphemus, surprising Asus and Galatea. Handel created an opera based on that story from Greek mythology. One good feature of a lot of the parks in Paris are these abundant green chairs to sit in. And you can often see people sitting in them reading books, which is also nice. I was hearing rose-ringed parakeets here, which is a bird from India that's naturalized in a lot of different places in Europe now.
In this clip you can see three wood pigeons in the lower branches and a parakeet on the right, higher up, and then two parakeets flying down. I found this photo online, but this is what the parakeets look like. The wood pigeons were incredibly tame here. They're slightly larger than a common street pigeon. I thought this was a really unusual sculpture. It's apparently based upon a sculpture in Rome of a face possibly of the god Oceanus and if you are dishonest and place your hand in his mouth you won't be able to get your hand out or it may even be bitten off. 